In today's video I'll be making a lemon meringue pie topped with Italian meringue. If you are new around here and would like to see more cooking and baking videos then start right now by hitting subscribe and turning on the notification bell. For the lemon curd filling check out my recipe on this channel. For the Italian meringue you will only need three ingredients, caster sugar, water and egg white. Place the sugar and water into a pan and place onto the stove on a medium heat. While the water and sugar is on the stove, place the egg white into a clean bone dry bowl and whisk into stiff peaks. You will see here to give the bowl a bit of extra support I've placed it inside an empty pan. As the water and sugar turn to syrup, gently shake the pan to help it dissolve, but do not stir, only shake. Check the temperature of the syrup periodically as the temperature rises, you need to reach a minimum of 121 degrees Celsius. If you're using a laser thermometer like I have, it's imperative that you check the temperature in various spots across the syrup, as the temperature can vary from one side of the pan to the other. Once the syrup has hit the desired temperature, remove from the heat immediately and pour into the whisked egg white, whisking continuously to ensure it's all combined. Once combined into a smooth glossy meringue, scrape the bowl down with a spatula and then transfer the meringue to a piping bag with a star nozzle. Take some sweet pastry tart shells, you can find the recipe for this on the channel, and fill with the lemon curd two thirds of the way up. Spread the lemon curd evenly, but be careful not to break the tart shells as they are very fragile. Pipe the meringue in peaks on top of the lemon curd. You will see here on the close-up, my meringue hasn't quite worked as intended. It's not as smooth and as glossy as it should be. However, I've still decided to go with it just to demonstrate that sometimes things don't always go according to plan. Using a blowtorch, apply heat very gently to the top of the meringue just to brown it off. Keep the blowtorch at a reasonable distance and gently bring the heat in and out towards the meringue. As you can see, it does burn very easily. Plating of the lemon meringue pie is as you wish. As you can see here, I've plated with some raspberry coulis and fresh raspberries, although it is one of those desserts you could just serve on its own as it is. I hope you've enjoyed this video, even though it does go to show that sometimes things don't always go according to plan. If you have enjoyed it nonetheless, be sure to give it a like and comment, consider sharing, and if you'd like to see more baking videos, then consider subscribing and also check out one of the recipes on screen now.